Hey Virgo, happy, happy Sunday. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I would not have done a reading tonight because I'm so drained. But I forgot that I had a, a phone reading for somebody tonight. So I just said, well, let me go ahead and put the reading I was going to put out tomorrow for you all tonight. Okay, because I'm still studying, of course, for that exam. I am so drained right now, you all. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. Whew. Okay. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Uh, this is reading. It's going to be a love reading. Your next real love relationship. I was taking a spiritual bath tonight, and it came. So, so what kind of reading can I do? Okay, now I know your next, not your next relationship, uh, but your next real love relationship. Okay. Uh, and I'm also, I just heard in my head the song by Mary J. Blige. She has this song called "Real Love," so I'll put that in the comments as well. Okay. Virgo's next to real love relationship. Please don't forget to hit that like button, you all. So we can draw more Virgos to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like. If you have not hit the like button, do so now. Please, please, please. All right. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. Someone to call or someone to set my heart free. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. Virgo's next real love relationship. Seven of Cups. Strength card. Excuse me, y'all. Um, I have the Seven of Cups. You finally made the right choice in love. Remember, this is your next relationship. Okay? Your next real love relationship Virgo. Finally making the right choice in love. You're going to ask yourself, have I chose the right person? Is this the right person I'm supposed to be with in my life? Yes. Okay. Um, out of all of the bad apples and out of all of the funky, nasty ass frogs you didn't kissed in the past, you didn't finally chose the right one. And they're going to bring you bring strength to your life, a love that you never experienced before. Okay. They're going to fight for you. You're going to pick the right one now, baby. Mm-hmm. got the page of wands got those real love relationship coming in hmm. three of cups yeah a lot of people are going to really really I honor you uh, or are going to be very happy for you that you've met this one that you finally met the right one for you okay and and they're going to be they're just gonna just gonna adore you with him you look you make such a cute couple you know y'all are so beautiful together let's toast this girl let's toast this guy you know they're going to celebrate you celebrating this new connection all right um but in the past though you've been afraid okay of relationships so it's time to bury the old energies from the past uh the relationships and the things that you have been in before this uh kind of have left you a little cell a little shell shocked okay and left your soul a little, a little hurt because you didn't want to you don't want to go through or experience anything like you like you had before in the past so it's time to bury that energy <clears throat> And make a promise or a creed to yourself that you're not going to want to go through this. That you're not going to go through this again. Honor yourself enough to say, you know what? I deserve love. I deserve to be happy. I'm going to let the past go. I'm going to I'm going to tear those walls down that I've put up in front of my heart. Because I want to allow somebody in. I want to allow this person to just come in and give me the love that, that I've never received before. But you got to be willing to do it and you got to stick to it. Be willing to trust this person. You have some trust issues. Because so many people have betrayed you in the past. But this is going to be a very, very successful connection for you. All right. A very, a very successful. And, and the thing about it, the people who are with you, your family members, your friend, friends, they're going to see. Our friend, maybe you have one specific specific friend uh, they're going to see how successful this this relationship could potentially be um when you get when you they get to hang around you and this person together they're going to see how he, he or she treats you okay and they're going to be like wow 
you know this this person is is amazing virgo you know how did you meet him 976 babe <laughs> you know that kind of energy like wow virgo you didn't found the right one now and i just think they're really going to adore you i'm hearing they're, hearing they're simply going to adore this connection all right we got new beginnings coming for you here <clears throat> and forgiveness of the past you know even if you say you know what even though that person hurt me from the past i forgive him or i forgive her you may have some splinters in your heart from what this person did for me to you but you know what it's not always going to be that way okay you're going to discover that this new person coming into your life is going to be it's going to be a magical connection they're going to be very very loyal to you as you are going to be loyal to them okay you're manifesting this connection you're manifesting a beautiful connection you're manifesting a healthy heartfelt loving embrace of a connection have you ever had a hug from somebody and when they wrapped their arms around you the hug felt so good it felt anointing you know it was such a beautiful hug such a you needed that hug you needed that embrace you needed that closeness that person is always going to give you anointing hugs virgo mm. yes you're definitely manifesting such a you're you're manifesting this successful connection this beautiful loving connection coming your way it's going to be full of love it's going to be fun it, fun 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 he's here she's going to be fond of you it's going to be funky it's going to be funky dope 100 percent pure let's put it that way okay but i feel like this person has a lot going on for himself or herself themselves have you want to quote it put it whatever um but be willing to meet this person where they are at as they are going to meet you where you are in your life okay this person is not going to take away from you they're going to add to you add to the connection and you're going to add to the connection for them all right have an open heart for this person this person is going to love you this person is going to honor you okay give this person an opportunity to say you know what i like this person i dig this bro you're going to communicate with this person both of you all are going to have some intelligent philosophical conversations virgo very resourceful he's he or she is very resourceful um they're very determined to make things work until you've already been this already been revealed to you through a dream okay or through uh some something that you have done that's been it's been revealed to you that you're headed toward a successful connection you've already known this i'm hearing for quite some time this is something that you pray for and it's coming to you a very beautiful connection for you virgo Oof. What else? <clears throat> What's going on for Virgo? With love. Marriage. <laughs> marriage, Virgo. Okay. Definitely marriage for you. So I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know if you want love or whatever, you know, but that's what's coming for you next in love. Is you're going to meet this person, you're going to fall in love, and you're going to marry this person. And you're going to spend the rest of your life. Uh, Maybe some of you all may get married on a holiday, okay? Maybe Valentine's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Somebody is specifically choosing a particular holiday to want to get married on. Whoever that may be, it may be you or it may be this upcoming spouse for you, okay? Your upcoming spouse. But you want to take it slow, though. So, like I said, maybe a, maybe a holiday that you meet this person. You may meet this person on a holiday and get married that same holiday a year or two, maybe three years later. Okay. It's like you're going to marry this. You met this person on a particular date. Okay. And that's when you're going to marry that person on the anniversary date of your meeting. Okay. I feel definitely this person that's coming into your life. Trust this energy. They're not going to take away anything. They're going to add, they're going to take away the heartache and pain from the past. And they're going to show you what true love feels like. Okay. Oh, what? Hold on. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I'm here in foreigner. I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. Hmm. Okay. I've been waiting for a, 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 a woman or whatever. I just said it because I'm hearing another song. Now, that's another song I'm hearing that I'll put in the comments. So, uh, Real Love, and I've been waiting for a girl like you, but I'm also hearing the theme from Shaft. I don't know why. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun 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 -dun. This person is on his way. I hear like a, a horse trolloping in my ear, but I'm hearing that song too. So, <clears throat> yeah, he's coming. She's coming for you. They're on their way. Okay. I'm hearing they're literally on their way. It's like that. I'm hearing in my head like a horse. When a horse is just trolloping along and you hear the 
the foot, do, 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 you know, it's not her. Ah, February. It could be right around Valentine's Day. You meet this person, Virgo. Okay. Some of you may meet this person in December. Some of you may be, I just saw December when I was flipping and flirting. You want to start flirting. Okay. But that's just you putting yourself out there saying, you know what, I'm available. Not by saying it, but actually showing it that I'm available. If you want to talk, let's talk. Okay. Uh, you've been, been been a victim in past heartache and pain for a minute now. Okay. But don't always think it's going to be that way. It's time to take control of your past. Taking control of your past is going to open your heart to love. Okay. Every time I know it's just doing a reading, I know I'm getting some, some psychic downloads. There's definitely some energy with love being beautiful coming for you. Don't let your heart hinder this connection, Virgo. Virgo, your next real love relationship. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you all may have two totally different religions raised in two totally different religions, religion households, but beliefs different. There may be something that may um, throw you off at first, but then you're going to learn to love each other. And, and this person may not like what you do if you're in tarot or you may not like the religion that they're in. But something about you two just click and it's not going to matter. It could even be two political affiliations or something like that. But you all just dig each other. It's like, wow, we're a perfect match except for this. Okay. Don't let that minor thing keep you away from love. So you gotta flirt again. You're gonna be flirting. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Somebody may be already flirting with somebody. It may not be the person that you are uh, going to end up meeting here. That true love. But you know, people look at you. People flirt with you because you're very sexy and you're appealing and you're good on the eyes. That's why they flirt with you. Okay. Why does why does this person or that person or whatever keep flirting with me? <laughs> because they like what they see. You know. They like what they see. That's why they keep flirting with your fine ass Virgo. You know your ass is fine. Mm -hmm. No apple bottom jeans. <laughs> People love them. Some apple bottom jeans I just heard. Okay. Uh, but yeah, definitely flirting with somebody here. Uh, uh, somebody's flirting with you. But this could be anybody. I just say this will be their lover, that new person. It could be. But I just see definitely you're, you're really, really. People flirt with you because they're fi they find you very sexually appealing. You know. So ain't nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Drop it like a hot. Uh, no, drop it like it's hot, Virgo. Okay. Drop it like it's hot, hot, hot. Release your ex. If you're thinking about that person from the past, what they've done to you, the time has come to clear your energy. Okay. To bury the old. Okay. And embrace the new. Release what that person did to you in the past. That's the past. Tell the past to kiss your hairy ass. <laughs> oh, Ed, pay attention to the red flags. Don't bring this past energy of what this ex did to you into the relationship that you're about to partake in. All right. You're calling in him. You're calling in your soulmate. It's safe for you to love. Okay, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. Remember I said earlier you were praying for love. You were manifesting love. Well, here she come. Here he comes. Okay. And yeah, it's safe for you to love. You deserve love. You deserve to receive all of the beautiful love, the highest energy of all. You are lovable. Open your heart. Okay. Turn on those heart lights. Okay. Tear down those walls that you have put around your heart for so long. Okay. No longer protecting your heart. You don't need to. Because you're, you're definitely stepping into a higher level. A higher energy of love. Okay. Somebody may be having some issues with their kidney. 
pain in your kidney, you're not drinking enough water, maybe drinking too much soda pop, okay? Not enough water, be careful with that. Maybe even passing kidney stones. <sighs> I don't have problems with my kidneys, but my back is hurting on the left, so kind of be careful with that, okay? <sighs> Whoever that relates to. What else do you have for love coming in for you, Virgo? I'm going to use this deck. <laughs> this here is my fighting deck when it comes to relationships. So I'll use this at a different time. Okay. <laughs> okay, Virgo. The next real relationship. I want to be in. This person's got money. Ace of Pentacles. What you have and what they have combined, combined together, both of y'all will have bank. We'll have paper. Okay? It's worth its weight in gold. Got the Ten of Cups. This is completion. This is everything you've ever wanted in love, in family, in relationships. Okay? This person is going to help, help you achieve all the levels of completion. Okay? They're going to help you achieve and you're going to help them achieve. Okay. A beautiful connection. I'm hearing an absolutely stunning connection. Hmm. Okay. I like New York in June. How about you? This is all right. Um maybe you maybe you live in New York, maybe they live in New York. The uh, King of Wands. And have the Magician. You're definitely manifesting in this in energy. They're very sexy and very appealing. Good look. And I feel like, though, this guy or girl, whoever she may be, are very, they like to play tricks on you. You know, sometimes you, you look at those little shorts on YouTube and you see videos where couples are um, pranking each other. This person loves to prank. <laughs> so... I'm hearing prank for profit. <laughs> so you may just have a, a YouTube channel with this person and he may do some horrible things to you or vice versa, but it makes people laugh. So he's very, he's a prankster. She's a prankster. Okay. Very, very funny. Very, very full of energy. Uh, very, very um, <sighs> humorous. Okay. They have a good sense of humor. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Yeah. They're going to piss you off a lot because they're going to always, they may put some milk above the door. You come in and milk falls everywhere, all over you and all over the floor. Okay. Uh, but they're definitely a prankster. They love to play tricks. They love to, to, to tell jokes. They may even be a stand-up comic. Okay. Because I'm hearing something in my ear about Steve Harvey. So they may be into that kind of stand-up comedy or something like that, or I always want to be a stand-up comic as well. But you're calling this person in though, your soulmate. Yeah, money keeps coming out for you all. No matter how many readings I do, we always get that pentacle. It's been this way for about a month. Hmm. Hmm. I, 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 from Virgos, no matter what side of the hemisphere you live on, you're still going to have more money by the end of this year. All points point to Virgo being a little bit more abundant by the end of the year. Okay. King of Pentacles, that's your energy. Queen of Cups, there we go. Yeah, you know, some of you may meet this person at work, but this is just just telling you on a side note that your Pentacles are going to get better, get ready at work, ready, get ready. Your Pentacles at work are going to get better. Okay. Now I know toward the end of the year, some companies give raises, per, you know, to everybody in the in the company. Uh, based on their yearly reviews, that could be where your money's coming from. But I just think it's more money in general. And you're going to have more responsibilities, more things to learn. You know, like I'm learning uh, for this, uh, for my job to get this certification. They didn't give, they didn't present this to me. I presented it to them. They just paid for it, thank God. Okay. But, um, yeah, I just see you doing different things, though. Um, 
more responsibility for learning new things. Somebody maybe wants to purchase a cat too. Or you'll be given a cat. Yeah, you know, so we got here. It's time to stop being single. It's time to stop focusing so much on what's going on in your life. You know, work, bills, family, trying to keep your family aligned and trying to stay positive in your life. Uh, you're focused on everything but love. But what you don't know is that's coming to an end. Your single ship, your single nymph, single them, single them, however you want to put it, is coming to an end. Okay? You won't be single for much longer. You won't be going at it all alone. All right? Divine timing is at work in your love life, Virgo. Okay. Uh, your ex may try to shoot. <laughs> okay. Your ex may be trying to shoot their shot again, Virgo. Okay. But tell them, F you. You better, you better step off. You better step. Okay. They may come back to try to reconciliate the relationship, but they're always going to be a false jackass that they've always been. Nope. Ain't no second chances here, bro. You better get your ass on some more. Give your relationship a chance. Okay, separate, getting to know each other. So your ex is going to try to come back because they want to work on a relationship. They want a second chance. Okay, please, baby, please. I love you. I care about you. I'm sorry. Can we just start over fresh as if nothing ever happened? Pleading their, their case. They're going to come in energetically and try to block this new person from coming into your life. But what are you going to do about that, Virgo? What are you going to do about that? A nip it in a bud. Nip it in a MF -in bud. Hmm. Tell them ain't no love here. Better go somewhere. Ain't no love, Jones, here. Mm -mm. Whew. I just heard the name Sister Kate, whoever that is. Sister Kate. I heard sister and I heard Kate. Take the high resonance. Okay, I'm going to get a couple more. And then I'm going to close you all out. And then Nikki is going to bed. Okay, final message for you, Virgo. This new love coming into your life. This new real love coming into your life. How will you all end up? How will you all end up? This is this is a new beginning. They're going to complete your life in such a beautiful way that you're never ever going to see it coming. It's like they're going to give you so much peace, so much love, so much more happiness. You know, a new beginning for you. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like they're sexy to you and you're sexy to them. And and I think this is the person I've been talking about too for some of you um, that's really going to have a really, really uh, sexual intense connection with somebody coming into your life. Okay. Uh, I just feel like you're going to, they're going to fit you. Okay. And you're going to fit them. All right. Um, I read this book. Okay, so these two uh, cards kind of remind, I just heard it in my ear as well, but I had to find it. It kind of reminds me of this book I read <clears throat> by, <clears throat> excuse me, this lady who passed away a few years ago, rest in peace, J. California Cooper. She has uh, some books. She, uh, her books are really good. If you've never heard of her, J. California Cooper. And she writes, some of the books are full of, of uh, are full of um, short stories. And one particular story she had in there was a couple uh, who... Had, well, the guy was really too big. You know, a lot of women didn't hook up with him because he was simply too big, and uh, made it uncomfortable for, <clears throat> for for women to enjoy. Okay, I have to say it's as clean as I possibly can. So it was hard for him to find the right person. But then you had uh, the lady in in the book. She, whatever, had a cush that was a lot of men couldn't 
you know, they just fell through or it wasn't comfortable for them or whatever. But eventually they met each other and they fit each other like a glove. You get that? You're going to fit each other like a glove. You know, what may not be good for anybody else is damn sure going to be good for you, Virgo. Okay? A beautiful connection here. You're going to fit each other like a glove. Okay? In more ways than one. the final message for Virgo your next real love relationship that's struggle um, I want I, I would not you know you may go into this relationship still hang hung up on the past stuff that you've been through we have a ten of swords the seven of swords and hung I, I definitely feel like you're carrying baggage going into a relationship as well as they I feel like who doesn't go into a new relationship with that baggage because uh, you're kind of you're kind of still harboring that, that that resentment from the past relationship, and you're so fearful that this new person is going to come in and do the same thing. You can't do that, okay? Because uh, this person's coming into your life, they're going to change. They're going to bring a level of completion to your healing, okay? You're bringing baggage. Why are you bringing baggage to the mansion, okay? Hmm. Or why are you bringing baggage to the wedding chapel? Okay, think about that. Why are you having such distrust issues with somebody who didn't have anything to do with what happened to you in the past? Remember that, Virgo. Okay, well, yeah, I think that you're going to go in a little bit confused because you don't know if you should be, if you should stay with this person or, you know, get to know this person or if you still want to be single. Uh, ultimately, it's because you're going to be all up in your feelings. But this person, their energy is already, you know, seeking you out, okay? Seeking out love, wanting love, praying for love the same way you're doing. They're coming. The cycles in their life are changing. The cycles in your life are changing, so spirit is going to connect the two of you diagonally. They may come from a different state than you. Uh, they may come from a different part of town, but you're going to live diagonal to them, okay? How, uh, remember I said earlier about all points, okay? This is still love with you. Uh, I feel like they're going to be, you're going to be north and, or south. They're going to be in the opposite direction. You're going to be east. They're going to be west or something like that. It's like an X, you know, wherever you are. They're going to be on the opposite end, you know, and then spirits are going to bring you two together. It's going to bring you two together, right now. Where goes next? Real love relationship. Yeah, okay, meditation will bring answers. Okay, it's going to help calm your ass down and open you up to true love, the new love that's coming into your life, okay, and here we got don't stop, you see that, don't stop in the back don't stop don't stop loving, don't stop loving don't stop allowing somebody to come in because you want to recover, it's like when you're meditation and also hearing something about working out, stretching, exercise, also uh, yoga, Pilates, but definitely yoga, it's going to help tap you into your higher self, okay and you're going to be able to recover okay, uh, from this past heartache that you've been through and trauma Okay, and this relationship that you're headed into, we got success. Successful relationship, finally, after all this time, after all of these years, after kissing all of these dirty ass, nasty ass frogs, you're going to finally meet your prince, or you're going to finally miss your princess, your queen, whatever. Success. Okay, Virgo? Talk to y'all later.